Good evening. Off the top at six, a brother and sister duo among six suspects charged in a police bus involving a group targeting big box stores. This is all part of a bigger problem we've been seeing in our area and the reason some stores are even locking down their mm -hmm. merchandise. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez joining us live in Chevy Chase tonight with more. Steph? Jacqueline Shamari, the Sephora behind me here in French of Heights police say it was one of the first stores targeted by this group in the county. And in addition to the brother and sister duo, we're told the four other suspects are juveniles. All six, we're told, are from D.C., the ages ranging from 13 years old to 28 years old. We did ask police if the 28-year-old adult here is the ringleader, given his age. Listen to this. He's uh, he's he's been involved with uh, with several, but uh, but one of the uh, one of the ringleaders is a uh, is a 17 year old. Uh, that person has uh, you know took it upon himself after even after that that arrest on June 15th, he was involved with uh, with at least two carjackings in the Silver Spring area on June 21st. Now, the first of the two adults arrested, 28-year-old Shaquille Pittman, was held without bond. He's facing charges that include theft and conspiracy. Montgomery County Police tell us the other adult charged is his sister, 21-year-old Regina Christmas. Now, police say the county had 11 total stores hit from April to last month. The stores include Target, Ulta, Sephora, Nike. Police say a group of three or sometimes eight people would walk in and steal items and then get to a stolen or carjacked car waiting for them. Them outside, but after a Rockville robbery on June 15th, the getaway car got stuck in construction traffic. Police eventually able to chase down and arrest some of the first two suspects charged in this case. 21-year-old Regina Christmas was arrested in D.C. last month on a warrant from Montgomery County on this theft ring. We're told she did appear in court, but the judge released her after the prosecutor did not argue for her to be whole or held. The judge allowing her to go handle her Maryland matters here. Now, we've reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office for a response on why that happened. D.C. police, they have not charged or filed charges in this case, but we are being told that the suspects are being investigated in both D.C. and in Anne Arundel as well. And in total of just Montgomery County, D.C., police in Montgomery County believe that the suspects stole at least $124,000. Guys. Thank you, Stephanie, reporting live from Chevy Chase.